many these false statements about Marcel. How do you know that? Is there anything else you want to say yes. about your husband has made these false statements about Marcel? How do you know they're false? Because I know they're false. How do you know they're false? Are they real? That's me. Okay, you're there for me to say. Marcel's out there doing something and you know about it. You know the pain of that situation. Uh -huh, so know. if you know something, why wouldn't you come to me and say something to me? You know why I wouldn't dare tell you anything? Because you don't believe me. I say anyway, so figure it out on your own. You figure it out on your own. Okay. I don't have to figure out anything because I know my husband is faithful. Just okay. because your husband did all it ain't no just a girlfriend or a three and a half years and a whole bunch of side chicks. So this is what I'm going to say. When your husband's at the bar, when your husband's at the bar late at night coming home at five, six in the morning, you might want to roll up, put them kids, get them kids who babysit up, and roll up to the bar, honey. Roll up to the bar. How can you be real with someone when they don't want to hear the real anyway? That's all I'm saying. Roll up, honey, roll up. Call me sweetie. Remember, see, that's what I'm talking about. You do the, don't do this, but then you do it. You know what? This is not going to go anywhere. You're not being honest. Oh, yeah, I'm not being honest. I'm not being honest, y'all. That's fine. So, good luck with you and your husband with his three and a half year relationship. And good luck with yours. I'm not going to give you all your info yet, but I'll give you the receipts when you're ready. Oh, I have the receipt for that BMW. I'm going to be really good to see him. Martel has a matching BMW with somebody, and it's not his wife. Until this day, uh -huh. we have not bounced any extra information about anybody. You know, Tisha did say that BMW coming. Right, because I was, yeah. But the, 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 the crazy part about that is that the way she got the picture was from Melody. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Mel, Mel did, when she was, when her woman's intuition after mm -hmm. old girl called, and she mm -hmm. started doing all this different digging and digging and digging. Mm -hmm. She found all these different receipts. She shared those with Tisha during that time of bonding. Okay. And so then when Tisha, when she started going off her in the coffee house, like, oh, maybe you should roll up and start doing something. Like, well, maybe you should go check on that BMW. Because if we're throwing shots right now, we're throwing shots. And this is the same shot. I mean, she, she threw a shot back with, with her, uh, her own book. So. Yeah. But, but so why are you so gloom and disdain? Because I walk like I got oil well dancing between my thighs. The black woman is beautiful. The black woman is blessed. And still, like dust, she shall rise. Out of the huts of history's shame, she rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, she rise. She shall rise. So... I'm dancing, I'm happy, and I'm glowing in Jamaica. That's what I'm doing. I rised. I rised. I have rised. But, but that was not, we're not like that, though, man. Now, we, we don't want to fight amongst friends. There's so much more we believe that we can talk about and discuss as it relates to marriage, love, right. business, and things like that, than just this same thing over and over and over yeah. and over. I guess it, it, because, you know, when I, even when I talk to Carlos, it's like that storyline, them being the focal point in this, this, this power couple and that the, the breakdown of their marriage, it, I think it's, it's just, it's been hard to watch. I know it had to be hard for you all to, to, to watch. Marceau, even, even in the middle of all this, you and Martel seem cool. <laughs> like the problem seems to be the women, which is really weird. <laughs> Yeah, that even really Martel is the one that, you know, brought the situation to fruition in the, in the relationship. And he's fine with everybody. The problem mm -hmm. ended up being Melody, who actually was the victim, which is ironic. Hey, I think that I have a, a guy given the ability, and I don't know if this is, this is really God, I ain't gonna put it on God. Mm -hmm. But I changed my expectation of people almost instantaneously. Yeah. So the second, the second you lie, or the second you, I Let us embrace our beloved sister, Melody, as she healed. As she healed, we need to embrace her and quit downing her. But this is a picture of the rug in my house. It's a picture of the black woman. 
Everything in my home represents the black woman. Even my purse. When I go out in the public, my purse represents the black woman. Every picture in my home represents the black woman. You know why? Because the black woman comes from all walks of life. She can be a homemaker. She can be a welfare recipient. She can be a doctor or a lawyer. She can even be homeless. But there's something mysterious about the black woman because still like dust, she shall rise. She will rise, she will come out like diamonds. She will put her head wrap on, her jewelry and her makeup on, go out and face the world, y'all. Go out and face the world, all this racism out here that we have to go through. All oh, just watching our children being gunned down every day by police brutality. But you know what? The black woman is strong because still, like dust, she shall rise. Rise. Still, like dust. Still, like dust, the black woman will rise. Still, like dust, the black woman will rise. So, and I think that's, that, that's the way that uh, I protect myself. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be hard as hell to hurt Marshall twice. Yeah. Listen, my Angela said it the best. Once people show you who they are, believe in the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Martell, Martell, Martell did come to us and apologize to us off camera. Mm -hmm. So at that point, we was like, oh, this is just not for show. He's he's sincere. Yeah. So right. that's why I've, I've been able to move forward with Martell because he came to us. He's like, listen. What I did was wrong, you know, I did X, Y, Z. And so I'm like, you know what, Martel? You did what you did, but I appreciate you coming to apologize. Right. And, and, but, and, and the truth is, I can forgive, I can forget, I can move forward, but what I won't do is lose the lesson. Right. So, so, so once you... So, why are you so disdained with gloom, gloom towards me? Because I woke. Like I got all wells between my thighs. Cause I walk like I got diamonds between my thighs. Maya Angelo also said this, Tisha. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beseeched with gloom? Cause I walk like I got all wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons. And like suns, and the certainty of ties, just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lower eyes, shoulder falling down like teardrop, weakened by my soul for cry? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it off a heart? Cause I walk like I got gold mines pumping in my living room. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your haughtiness. But still, like dust, I'll rise. I'll rise. Still, like dust, I'll rise. Still, like dust, I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lower eyes, shoulder falling down like teardrop, weakened by my soul for cry? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it off a heart? I'm a black ocean. Leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I'll bear in the tide. I'm a black ocean, 
leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I'll bear in the tide, leaving behind me nights and nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak so wondrously clear, I rise. Does my sexiness offend you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I got diamonds in the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history shame, I rise up from a past that's rooted in pain. I rise.